president of the Bahamas Basketball Federation who will be organizing the national tournament. Uh, it is with the, uh, uh, and through our alliance with the Federation that we get to be a part of a sanctioned uh, national championship. And I want the general public to know that many times persons call uh, things national championships. And they are not national championships unless they are sanctioned by the individual authority that governs that particular sport in the given country. And so we are pleased to have the sanction of the Bahamas Basketball Federation, and we are pleased to have them uh, officially uh, run this tournament. And so we are thankful uh, for them for being a part of it. I also wanted to say, uh, without fear of contradiction, that we're happy to be back in Grand Bahama. Uh, and I'd like to let the Grand Bahamian community and the Bahamas public at, at large know, Mr. President, that uh, one of the most influential factors in coming back to Grand Bahama, apart from your hospitality, is the fact uh, that your hotel rates were so uh, unfair to us. And so we are very, very pleased to be able to provide uh, a continued uh, uh, um, um, support to the community of Grand Bahama, and we are thankful for all that they do for children in the public education system. <coughs> Mr. President, if I may, I also wanted to make a public appeal to those um, uh, corporate sponsors in the Bahamas at large. Uh, this tournament is uh, quite an expensive venture uh, um, um, that is mostly funded by the government of the Bahamas. But we appeal to the community, to the corporate community, to assist uh, um, both the Bahamas Basketball Federation and uh, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture in, in attempting to pull off this event in a fashion that is extremely smooth. And for that, we need sponsorship. We need the support of the corporate community. And so we ask for their continued support. I'd like to announce the dates. The dates are March 1st through 6th. Uh, and uh, uh, I think the President would speak to you more about um, the format of the tournament, the amount of teams coming, et cetera, et cetera. But with that said, very, very pleased, Mr. President, to be back again. And you have the support, the unwavering support of the Minister and the Director and both uh, uh, Ministers in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture and the Ministry of Education. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. It's indeed a pleasure once again to I host this tournament. I always thought that this was our home tournament, but you know, we had a little questions. That's why we took so long to announce this tournament. We wanted this tournament to be a fixed date uh, on the calendar. Uh, Evan, myself, and Mr. Bain and Kenton, a fixed date on the calendar so that our islands would actually be ready to attend this tournament whenever it's called. Or they can look at the calendar and say, every March 2nd, that we would have yeah. the National High School Tournament. Uh, we also would like to say that the tournament would not be only in Grand Bahama, but I'd love, I'd love to see this tournament move from every, every, any island that has a gymnasium so that those people too can get a chance to see the talent that we have in this country, not only Grand Bahama and Nassau, but also the other family islands. On that saying, wouldn't say too much, I would like to just give you the format. There will be the 12 top senior boys team, um, New Providence, and five from Grand Bahama. Six from New Providence, in fact, seven from New Providence, and five from Grand Bahama. We also have our senior girls, which will be nine senior girls basketball team. We have three from Grand Bahama and six from New Providence. We have a family islands, which we have six family island teams. The top teams from every family island. We know that we're going to have a problem with family islands, but come one, come all. <laughs> okay? Now, I'd like to name them if we have time. Okay, we do have time. Um, we have CC Sweeting, C.I. Gibson, Anatole, um, Doris, Doris, Doris Johnson, Johnson SAC. Uh, Jordan Prince William. And Jordan Prince William and the Small School Sports Association champs. I don't think that is at the end. They haven't decided. Okay, they haven't decided yet. And from Grand Bahama, uh, we have Tabernacle, St. George's, um, Sunland, Sunland, 
Eight Mile Rock, Jack Haywood. Reason being, we save money, we don't have to put them in any hotels, okay, because we won 12 teams. Uh, and then we have the small school, like I said, champs. Senior girls, Tabernacle, BMES, Eight Mile Rock from Grand Bahama. Uh, Doris Johnson, C.I. Gibsons, C.V. Bettle, Prince William High, Kingsway, Kingsway, Academy. Kingsway Academy, St. John's out of Nassau. And I would like to say this year, Annie and Varel, that you will be receiving rings. <laughs> First time in history in the Bahamas, the girls will be receiving rings. Family Islands, Bimini, of course. Okay, Abaco, uh, Elutra, and, and Andros, and Andros have like two or three teams, but <laughs> we always get two. San Salvador, and any other islands that are interested after the, the tournaments, I think next week, during the week of the, uh, the U Campbell, uh, we'll choose the next two teams from that tournament. And like the President and Mr. Wisdom has already said, this is going to be very, very good for Grand Bahama. There'll be some great basketball. Uh, not only great basketball, we have, uh, we'll have 10th year senior here, so those persons um, and family islands that are unable to travel and uh, friends and family in the United States will be able to view the competition online. Uh, certainly you're going to see a transformation of the St. George's Gymnasium. Uh, you know, this is going to be like, the, like, the, um, like, like, um, like Madison Square Garden. So we want you to come out and see all the activities that we're going to uh, be involved in here at this gymnasium. This is also going to be good for uh, some vendors uh, because we're going to be able to put some vendors on the outside. People will be able to make some a couple of dollars during this event. But we know that Grand Bahama is basketball capital. Uh, we expect, we're expecting that we'll have great fan participation uh, in, the, in, in this year's tournament. We're looking to do some giveaways. Uh, we can get some of the phone companies involved, give away some phones, some phone cards. Uh, um, we'll be really looking forward to a great tournament uh, this year. So come on out, Grand Bahama community, and let's uh, show the entire Bahamas how we do it. Uh, the only thing I would like to say is I'm, I'm so pleased that uh, normally uh, in a world that where we don't like to cooperate, you know, especially in other sports like track and field and soccer, we have so many people pulling against each other. I'm so pleased that the, the Ministry of Education, uh, the BBF, and the local association is working together uh, for one goal. And we didn't think this goal was gonna be possible and it came to fruition last year. Uh, like I said, I'm so pleased that we're here again. We're announcing that the Nationals is gonna happen this year and it's all because of the cooperation you know, between you know, those three organizations. I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, Mr. President, I wanted to thank the press. Uh, you know the kind of coverage we got last year. And um, I'd, I really would like for us to, as best as, po as possible, work with 10th year seniors. Um, I want to say that uh, at our last championships in, in New Providence, uh, the government and both private schools, we would have gotten the uh, um, views in the area of 11, 12,000. And so we think this is going to be a tremendous opportunity for your federation, for the young men in your federation to be seen worldwide, and indeed throughout the Caribbean. Uh, we are getting ready to enter talks again with the uh, Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas with regards to carrying live, live broadcast every night instead of one night uh, like they did the last time. Uh, we are in communications with 10th ten, year seniors for the platform, the internet platform, so that that can be uh, covered and we just like to let the, the general public know. We still need for this gym to be, to be solid um, in terms of, of fan participation. So like the officer would have said, uh, we are putting a marketing plan together to help you and support you, sir, uh, to be able to have this gym filled every night because it, 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 indeed it will be going throughout the world. And so congratulations on that. And I'd just like to thank the media uh, for once again uh, like uh, Kenton said, partnering with us and, and uh, helping us take this broadcast to the world.